Hello, my name is Jay, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract unique values from a table or a column. So over here, I have a um, Excel table, and I have a table that contains the the city names, uh, state name, and as well as the population for year 2014. This list only has a uh, city and a state that have population with a hundred thousand people or more, and I got this table from uh, Wikipedia. Let's just take a look at the city column. So as you notice that there are uh, multiple duplicate cities. Not all the cities are unique. And I want to be able to uh, write a formula to give me just a unique uh, city name. And this is what the, the expired result is going to look like. You know, uh, in column F, I have all the unique uh, city names. And in column G, I have all the unique name for the state. So that's basically what I'm trying to do uh, in this exercise. And let's go ahead and write uh, this formula. So over here, I have the exact same table. Uh, so this is going to be the exercise file. And you can download this file uh, from the link in the description. So I'm going to start with uh, just writing the, the label. So this is going to be the city name. And so first of all, you want to use the, the match function and the lookup value is going to be zero. And the lookup array is going to be, uh, so we'll use the count if function and to generate the, the table array. So once you start out from the, the row above, so wherever the row that uh, you're writing the formula, for example, I'm writing my formula in row three. You want to use the cell reference to reference the, the row on the cell above. Uh, where you're entering the formula. So I'm entering the formula in, in uh, cell E3. So I'll write uh, E2. And so make sure that um, the first uh, range is going to be absolute uh, cell range, meaning that when you move the, the formula, the cell reference is not going to change. And next, I'm going to write the same uh, cell reference, except that this time I'm going to use relative uh, cell reference. So I don't need to uh, insert the dollar symbol to lock the, the cell position. You want to highlight the cell range or column range that you want to uh, extract the unique values. So in this case, I'm going to uh, extract my unique values from the city column. So it's going to be all the way from A3 or way down to uh, 800 or A300. And press F4 to lock the cell range and close parenthesis and comma. And for the match type, you want to use exact match since we're doing a lookup. Okay, and this is the, the first portion. So, and now if we just press control shift enter, and this is going to basically uh, give us, uh, actually populate the index that where the unique value items are located. So right now uh, the index may, look, may all look the same, but once we are inserting the, the index function, and so the index function basically returns the value uh, based on the index number. So if we try again, and control shift enter to enter the formula as array formula. Okay. Now if we just drag this form all the way down, as you can see, the, the value changes. Now we're getting the, the unique city name. So actually let me just drag the formula all the way down and to 300. And because uh, we only have 200, let's see, 287 unique city names. So that's why when I drag the formula all the way to uh, row 300, I'm getting the uh, remaining cells as uh, cell reference here. And actually, so to fix that, I'm actually me expand the column width. And to fix that, so I'm going to use the if air function. And I want the, the value to return empty if the cell reference is returning as air. And again, control shift enter keys to return uh, to enter the formula as array formula. And I'm just going to out of field this uh, formula. Okay. So now this is going to be our unique city name list. So now if I go to conditional formatting and just highlight the duplicate uh, values. And as you can see that I'm not, I'm not getting any um, 
duplicate values on my list. And for the state name, so we'll do the basically do the same thing. So we'll start with the unmatch function. Oops, match. And lookup value is going to be zero. Again, your lookup array is going to be uh, the count if function. And remember, range is starting from uh, the, the cell reference above you. So F2. I'm going to just press F4 to lock the cell range. It should not didn't work. So I'm just going to manually lock the, the starting point and press F4. And for the criteria, so criteria is going to be the uh, cell range. So this time I'm going to uh, extra the unique state name. And F4 to lock the, the cell range again. And my lookup match type is going to be exact match. So I'm going to type 0. And this time, I'm going to use the index function to return uh, the state name. And, okay. and last, I'm going to use the if error function. And to handle the error, if a cell value returns an error, then I'm going to uh, convert that to an empty string. And control shift enter keys. And I'm going to just other field formula. And these are our unique state names. So we have 46 uh, unique state. So now if I need to validate uh, the result, and I'm going to basically just uh, grab the, the column, and I'm going to paste over. And I can just go to data. And under the data tab, there's a remove duplicates uh, function. And I'm going to click on that, and I want to remove my duplicate values based on column H. So this is the only column I have right now. And my data has no headers. So I'm going to uh, untrick this. Now click on OK. So 11 duplicate values has been removed. Uh, in this list, I have 287, which matches to what I have in column E. So conquer and close wings. And so I'll do the same for the state as well. And copy and paste. And so under the data, remove duplicates. So I don't want to explain my cell, uh, the cell reference. So I'm going to continue with the current selection. And 46 are uh, unique states. So let's double check. And 46. So guys, so this is basically um, how you will use a formula to extract the unique values from a list or a column. If your table is constantly changing, then using a, a formula will probably be a better option. So this is basically uh, everything I want to cover in this video. And if you found this video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.